Asperger's syndrome is one of the five disorders characterized as pervasive developmental disorders. You may hear Asperger's syndrome referred to as Asperger's, Asperger's disorder, or simply AS. There is some controversy surrounding the distinction between Asperger's syndrome and high-functioning autism. In fact, it's possible that in the new DSM, or Diagnostic and Statistical Manual, Asperger's syndrome would be eliminated and individuals would instead receive an autism spectrum disorder diagnosis. The DSM is a tool that clinicians use when providing diagnosis. The current diagnostic criteria specify that the main distinction between the two disorders is that individuals with Asperger's syndrome do not have delays in communication skills. Instead, this disorder is defined by impairments in social interactions and restricted or repetitive behaviors. At the end of this module, you will be able to recognize the general areas of impairments related to Asperger's syndrome, identify examples of social impairments in children with AS, identify examples of restricted behaviors and interest in children with AS, recognize when and how to seek appropriate identification and treatment. The first category of impairment is delays in social interactions. When observing a child with Asperger's disorder, you may notice the following behaviors. Impairment in the use of multiple nonverbal behaviors, such as eye-to-eye -eye gaze, facial expression, body postures, and gestures to regulate social interaction. Failure to develop appropriate peer relationships. Lack of spontaneous seeking to share enjoyment, interests, or achievements with other people by a lack of showing, bringing, or pointing out objects of interest to other people. Lack of social or emotional reciprocity. The second category of impairment is restrictive or repetitive behaviors or interests. Examples of these behaviors that you might see while observing a child with Asperger's include preoccupation with one or more stereotyped and restricted patterns of interest that is abnormal either in intensity or focus. Oh, the dinosaur got cursed by this, his bell. Is that real? Can they really get cursed? Yes. Inflexible adherence to specific non-functional okay? routines or rituals. Are you okay? Let's get magnets. Then we'll go to sensory. Oh. Stereotyped and repetitive motor mannerisms such as hand or finger flapping or twisting or complex whole body movements. Persistent preoccupation with parts of objects. All children may exhibit quirks such as interest in personal needs over others or specific interest in things like dinosaurs or Dora the Explorer. When these behaviors are developmentally well, appropriate, there's no need to be alarmed. A child needs to display some of the previously mentioned characteristics to meet criteria for Asperger's syndrome. However, if your child displays some of the behaviors we outlined, he or she might not meet full criteria for the disorder. The process of obtaining a formal diagnosis typically involves a variety of parent interviews and direct observations administered by a team of medical professionals. If you suspect that your child may have Asperger's syndrome, it's important to clearly and firmly express these concerns to your child's pediatrician. Early identification and treatment is imperative to your children's long-term functioning and well-being.